year to Kilmallock County Limerick for this Munster Club Senior Hurling Championship final between the Cork representatives Middleton and the representatives from Tipperary Barcelona. I'm uh, looking forward to a very good afternoon here and a good game of hurling. And first of all, we let you get the teams as they're announced. you have John McGrath, Tommy O'Dwyer, Brendan Kinney, Pat Tynan, Frank Collins, Pat Kavanagh, Tim Ryan, Jay Tracy, another Brendan Kinney and A. Kelly. With the teams calling the band off for the big parade, Jeff Paul there, this one, Catty I see, Michael Boyle in the full back line, Dave Crotty and in the far side two some the field men, the two Ryans. Timmy and Pat Ryan from Barcelona taking up the rear of course. We have John Boyle here, number 15, and his brother Dave is not on this afternoon due to an entry. Paddy O'Brien here, selector from Milton Club, and taking up the, the end there of the line is Timmy Stapleton from Barcelona. As we're looking down at the Milton selectors underneath us here. You see Needy Morgan there giving John Boyle a drink, getting him ready for this afternoon for this game. with the Middleton, with Middleton for the afternoon Dave McCarthy, Kevin Coakley, John O'Keefe, Jerry Smith, John Hennessy, Malcolm Adams, Lee Williams, Jack Lavin, Liam Roy, Eric Hartley, Michael Hartley, the sub goalkeeper, and Dave Boylan is down as a substitute. And of course, Dave has a broken finger, which he got in playing with Cork last week. So with Dave, Dave Boylan now, it's a theory in mind comes on to replace him. So the sort of substitutes, the referee for this afternoon is, of course, Kevin Welch from the Garrix Berlin Club in County Limerick. And the band leading out to play there, of course, is the St. Patrick Westerby band from Charleville, which is only a few miles across the border here from Kilmallock. Well, we expect a very good, hard game here this afternoon between both these teams. And there will be a new name on the Munster Cup this afternoon, whichever one they win, because neither Middleton nor Barcelona have ever won this competition before. Barcelona have won five county championships in Tipperary, and the last one being two years ago in 1981, when they were beaten in the first round of this competition by Mount Sign from Walford, who eventually went on to win it that year. Middleton, this is their third county championship win, but it's back in 1916, the last time they won it previous to this year. Varsity, they have won it a little bit earlier than that. They won it, I said, in 81, and they won it again back in the 50s. So they won it in 49, 50, and 53. And as a coincidence, on this afternoon's team, the captain of that 53 was Tim Ryan and his three sons playing here this afternoon. They're Bobby, who's playing in 
centre forward position and also plays for Tipperary. Patrick is playing centre field and I think he's better known as Flowery. And also Aidan Ryan, the left half forward. So three Ryan brothers there, their father captained the Tipperary County team winning the championship in 53. So exactly 30 years later, his three sons on the Tipperary on the first leads which won the championship. And coming across here you see playing left half forward is Edson Cleary. Edson coming on to play in half forward for Middleton as they stand for the national anthem. going up down there from the Middleton Reserve against the South Bench underneath us. And out in the centre field, Ty McCarthy number 9, Pat Flory Ryan number 9, and Timmy Ryan and John Fenton. John, of course, the captain of the Middleton team in a middle silence for one of the Bursley people. Oh, 
your man. He's still beyond his own. Sends a high ball way up into the air. But coming across the FDM, the nose jump is shot headed. He falls. He taps to the side in as well as John Biden. John Biden coming, but it's taken off him. And the race says he was out and it's a free end. So, a very fast opening here. General, oh, John Fenton took a rocket leg shot, but was saved. But John said this is a chance to take and he hit it very hard, very fast and quickly and it could have went in but it didn't and now it's all over the Lions line ball. They couldn't clear it clearly, and eventually it's a free end to be taken by the right half forward Philip Kinney. Philip hits this one high and over the bar, and the opening score in about four and a half minutes of the game. Gone. So, with all that pressure, Boss Lee gets one point. Come on again, Opec. Come on, take that off. Come on. Jump hard to take the puck out. Gerard giving a good long poke out as usual. Jumpy dog attack. John Hatton very far back from Jerry Stapleton. Got away by Timmy Ryan. Bit of Kenny going on with Finney leaves it from North Dwyer and roll across into the middle. With Pat Hatton reading it and Pat Hatton getting away from Bobby Ryan sends it back in for attack. Welcome you all. Tim Stapleton over the pass out. Jump is with him. But he locks and gets a good long clearing. T.S. Stapleton wanted to see up members on this varsity team, but Sean O'Brien equally is good at centre at the moment, clearing it out to the side of the field. Tyke McCarthy coming on for it, getting away from Timmy Ryan. Tyke floats a high looking ball, but it's still watching all the way as Owen Welch. Oh, it's gone in! Owen Welch kept his eye on it, never saw Kevin Hennessy coming in from the right, and Kevin Hennessy flicked it out of his hand, but I don't know exactly how he got to it. Wherever it'll be on to it, getting away from Timmy Ryan. Tyke floats a high looking ball, but it's still watching all the way as Owen Welch. Oh, it's gone in! His eye on it, never saw Kevin Hennessy coming in from the right. And Kevin Hennessy flicked it out of his hand. I don't know exactly how he got to it, but wherever it is, it's in the back of the net. Six minutes gone in this game. Middleton, one goal, Bosley, one point. Sylvia Manny fetching that one well and sending it back in again. A tremendous start to this game here in Kilmallock. John Boyan, Kevin Hennessy again going through. Kevin on, trying to hold it, but it's gone in again. So cool there was Kevin Hennessy as Timmy Delaney threw the hole in the after him. He broke away from again a speculative ball hidden by Middleton again. A tremendous start to this game here in Kilmallock. John Boyland, Kevin Hennessy again going through. Kevin on, throwing the hole in, but it's gone in again. Oh, so cool there was Kevin Hennessy as Timmy Delaney threw the hole in the after him. He broke away from again a speculative ball hidden by Middleton and Kevin Hennessy. Quite cool with all his experience there, breaking through and one with no hope inside. Six and a half minutes gone. Middleton two goals, cross stay, one point. And only a few minutes ago I said Middleton backs were having a nervous start, which they seemed to, but the Middleton forwards just really opened up the boss lead defence there and got in and got two very opportunist goals and brought them by Kevin Hennessy. And Kevin starting off extremely well and this wants the final. Ball breaking out very close to the line here. Timmy Ryan going back in the but coming back with.
was Ed Clearly and Ed Clearly hooked him, but the referee says that he was fouled, and it's a free in again to Bosley. And I see the four Middleton sideline selectors down there: Oliver Keith, Seamus Fall, Father Dennis, and Paddy O'Brien. But it gets it a second time and it goes out over the inline and it's a 65. So, two goals to one point, and that's the score at the moment. And we have about seven minutes of the play gone. The referee going back to have a walk with Dave Carty and Michael Cole. before the ball came and it's a free out. With Noel Dewar here, Noel with all his experience, Noel of course winning an all Ireland medal which last time Tipperary won it back in 1971 and using all his experience here putting pressure on this Middleton defence. Jeff Hall taking the free again, getting it way out. Ty McCarthy underneath it with Timmy Ryan. With Timmy Ryan getting the better of it this time. Sylvie Mann here, good clears by Sylvie and back up into attack. Timmy Delaney only hits his half. We're going back and catches Michael Ryan. And Michael Ryan, the cornerback, clearing it away out to the far side of the field. Out as far as Pat Ryan. And Pat getting on a bit further than on Boston. He comes back into attack again. Michael Cohn with Jeff Paddy. Michael Cohn, another very experienced member of this team, getting away. But Pat Hartner came in and fouled him. And it's another free in again to Boston Lee. About nine minutes gone this game. Minute from two goals. Bosley, one point. And a chance here for Philip Kinney to get his second point and to get the second point. He hits this one and it's a good one. It's over the bar. And his second point of the game. Nine minutes gone. Two goals to two points. Middleton with a good advantage on the scoreboard but not really having that much advantage out the field. The game is very even at the moment. Again, Jeff Paul took out a good long attack and John Hatner putting on hand this time. Put him on the going for Timmy Delaney getting it out further. Sean O'Brien reading that one very well and Sean O'Brien getting the quick turns. Coming way out to the far side of the field. John Boyle lady out to Edge Kelly was heading on into it. No Kevin Hennessy trying to get to it but Timmy Delaney came in very hard. And he just couldn't control it because of the animal. John Byron that time getting that one. It was John Byron getting it. Good one across, hitting it first time. And Kevin Hennessy just couldn't get to it. And out wide. Bit of Kenny again. Bit of Bushy to run in center forward on Sean O'Brien. Getting away with this one. He shot his red hook down by John Fenton. But he hasn't gone out to the small caddy. Noel Dwyer, Noel Dwyer picking that one up again, very nice, turning back and hits a high, dangerous ball, that's gone no over the bar. And as I said earlier, Noel Dwyer proving to be a torn in the middle of the fence. No, there's only a goal between the teams. Two goals to Middleton, three points to Barcelona. And we have just around ten minutes gone in this first half. Richard Stakelin breaking it down, Timmy Ryan with Ty McCarthy, Ty picking up, hand passing it on inside him, running for his John Hartness. John Pick tries to pick up, he faces up, he gets along the ground, a good attacking ball running across the square, Tim Delaney gets it on it, Tim Hennessy is more but he kicks it back into the middle, but Tim Delaney recovering, picking it up, and with nobody on him, clearing it away up, running across John Fenton, oh John Fenton hits a nice point, yes indeed, a very nice shot and a very nice point by John Fenton to increase the gap again. Two goals on one point, to three points. Eleven minutes gone in this game. Owen Welch taking the puck out, getting it away out here. Tyke McCarthy and Timmy Ryan with Timmy getting it. Now it's Philip Kenny again, Philip Kenny followed by Pat Hartnett. Philip Sordo on through. Sylvia Manny coming over onto Miss Red and Sylvia breaking it down, but it goes out to Michael Cohn. Michael way out the wing. Sends this one across, but out to the left and right. There's the score, four points between the teams. Come on, 
and again Jap power play to puck out Jap playing very well throughout the season for Middleton and goals haven't brought up two plates here's already in this game Winning at that time, Pat Hartness in the back into attack. Now it's Jeff Fitzgerald going to it. Jeff Fitzgerald tried to hand pass him, but it's been knocked down by Michael Ryan. And Michael Ryan on his own, Jeff never followed him up, and he clears it out to the centre of the field. Sean O'Brien breaking it down. Pat Hartner getting it on a bit further for Middleton. And this really is a very good open gear at the moment. Kevin Hennessy, a very intelligent ball out, but it's going a little bit too far and too fast for Colm O'Neill. As Kevin Hennessy tried to open up the play at that time. See, Apologise there to call him, I think, and Colin couldn't get to it, it's a nine board, it's taken by Timmy Green. Two weeks ago here, this possibly team beat Patrick's World Tipperary Champions in the semi-final. in by Michael Cohen or Mick Cohen just bouncing in Timmy Stapleton picked it up but Michael Boyle on the inside of him wasn't letting them get around him and it's a free in taken again by Philip Kinney that's trailer for the goals and Philip no problem put that one over the bar to bring it back again to a goal or three points between the teams Philip's third point from three is in this game and 14 minutes gone before the other semi-final beat Six Mile Bridge in Middleton and it was a very nice afternoon indeed and in the first it had been level at half time came into the run in the last quarter and, all, and they eventually won that one easy enough but now again it's Boss Lee coming into attack here Middleton who got two very quick goals really I'm not really getting anything for the sense John Fenton now trying to get him moving it's Colin O'Neill Colin O'Neill tries to send a pass across into the middle here can John Fenton get to it but it's not it's Timmy Ryan who gets to it and Timmy eventually getting a short run on Pat Hatton and again only a very short one double down by Tag McCarthy and now Middleton trying to get into attack oh Kevin Hennessy was slow to that one and it's clear back over on his pass Sean O'Brien and Sean O'Brien very well in the centre back position for Middleton at the moment back over by T.S. Stapleton John Hatton had with, with Jerry Stapleton here but God, oh, Pat Hatton are coming in very hard and very strong that time and hitting that one and he hits it so hard he breaks his holly and it's gone all over the line it's a line ball here but Richard Stakelum. The ball hasn't come any other way very much in this game so far. Jerry Stapleton taking this one, it's going very close line. Pat Hartner keeps it in. Sean O'Brien tries to get on a little bit. No, it's Bobby Ryan on to Bobby picking it up but Bobby is fouled again and it's another free in. And you hear the shouts from down the sideline, come on, Middleton, come on. And Philip Kinney gets a chance here to put all get his fourth point in this game and reduce the race another little bit. <laughs> Philip hits this one, but he seems to pull it and he does, and it goes out to the left or to the right. And boy, you see a lot of the middle supporters down behind the goal there. Quite happy to see that one going out. And I'm sure the selectors on the here must be a little bit worried at the moment because having got those two big goals in the first few minutes, Middleton since have not really got into the action in the final line. Colin and get a little push there, but the ball breaks loose. Now it's John Hartnett. John Hartnett hand passing around in his foul. Ty McCarthy takes McCarthy turns and Ty McCarthy putting a light to what I just said. Ty decides that from centre field he'll put it over the bar and a very nice point there by Ty McCarthy. 16 minutes gone is 2-2. Two -two. Two, four points. And Tyg McCarthy and John Fenton, when they really get going, can pick off some very good points from way off the field. But did I, I don't think they tried myself sometimes often enough. Philip Kinney that time hooking it, but got away out again. Going back with Richard Stakelum. Richard Stakelum, the right half back, I'm sure, getting what is probably his first puck of this game, as the ball hasn't broken down this wing very much. But he puts out all of the line, and they've got he to take it from Middleton. 
Dave Pratty, who with John O'Brien, John Hatton are carrying slight injuries in this game. And I'm sure in these very heavy conditions with field of pressure, Edger Cleary with Richard Stakem, Richard falls him and it's a free into Middleton. No, it's not, the referee says that. See Marcy Clark from Middleton underneath us here. The referee said that Edger did the falling and it's a free down to Bosley. Jerry stepped in to take it. Jerry with his two brothers playing Timmy in the full forward and TF playing in the full back line. But Jack Paul catching that one and getting it out. Now it's Bobby Ryan, but Dave Pratty Arena well hits it along out here as far as Ty McCarthy and Ty on his own sends Middleton back into attack again. John Hatton at that time never watched the ball Paul pulled. And referee says he fouled. Jerry stepped on the centre back and it's a free out again to Borsley. And this is Bosley's seventh free of the match, Middleton having one three. Jerry himself takes this one, dropping away out left, this one carry over there with more of the world, but it goes out over the inline and wide. And very little wides in this game so far. Most of the play out the field. See Nini Harkin back around the back there with the spare Hollies and the Lucas head as Jeff Power takes the puck out. Way off to John Hatton at this time. Ball breaking down loose. Oh, that's Francis Spillane as well. John Fenton out trying to get with John Hatton trying to get back with Ian Ryan to drop him. And got away out by Francis Spillane from Bosley. Back into Bobby Ryan. And Bobby Ryan also proved to be quite dangerous here. Out to Michael Cohn. Michael Cohn, very experienced forward. Coming out to Jeff Brady. Oh, he turns Jeff Brady there now. He's getting away from him. Toss looks and takes a shot. It's going all the way over the bar. And a very good point there by Mick Cohn. Make the number 13 here, another one of these experienced players in the forward line for Bosley. And now we have five points to two goals and two points. And with 19 minutes of the of the game gone, ball's gone out over the line and out over the stand. And I must say, this field here this afternoon is very well laid out in Kilmallock indeed. And also I must say they've been very helpful to us as well. With two little stands, one on the far side in the press box, they really have it very well laid out. It's, it's throwing ball from the line, and referee Kevin Welch over watching it. Ty McCarthy winning it. Going back for it now is Pat Ryan, but John Finton has it, a very short one, and the full back to him. Stapleton coming out and getting it out as far as Bobby Ryan. Bobby Ryan out, getting away from Pat Hatton and getting it on in, trying to open up here, trying to use Mick Cohen. The referee says Dave Carley was calling Mick Cohen there, and it's another free in to Bosley, again to be taken by Philip Kinney. got away from Dave Guy last time Bobby Ryan was hoping to do the same but Dave saw it and this time the free again going out to the left and wide and two very bad misses there now by Philip Kenny in the last few minutes and two chances for scores gone to waste Jeff Powell with one of his usual long puck outs Colm Neal waiting for us. Now Colm on and getting it left hand to one in. Jeff is just trying to get away from D.S. Stapleton. But Michael Ryan the corner back clearing it out for Bosley. Aiden Ryan coming for it now. Aiden back and picking it up. And Aiden getting an attacking ball in. In as far as Noel Dwyer. But Dennis Mulcahy gets it this time. Sean O'Brien tries to control it. He gets it on the second team going very close line. John Fenton adding on to it. It's running up the line and eventually goes out over the line. And it's a line ball. Pass Ryan taking it, but it's blocked down by John Fenton. John Fenton going back and picking it up very cleanly, and John sending it into attack again. Jeff is still down, Jeff getting in his head for the first time. Gets on his first, Kevin Hersey. Kevin doubles on it. Inside, Owen Welch has it. John Bynum comes to him. But Owen Welch sidesteps him and clears it back out to the middle again. Ronnie's first, John Hatnett. John Hatnett hitting a good looking ball that has gone all the way over the bar for another point for Middleton. But that time, Jeff Fitzgerald coming out, roaming, getting the ball in his hand for the first time in this game, sending in a very dangerous one, but it comes back out, and John Hartnett on to it, and putting it off the bell. 21 minutes gone, 2-3, two, 2 5 points. All matches puck out, dropping out here on the tight, McCarthy, Timmy Wright, tight getting it. Now it's Edzard Cleary getting it on a bit further, tight racing for it, and he winning it. 
No jumpers jump, but yes, Jeff can get the better of this one and sending it back out very close and out of the line, and it's a line ball. But a very big, strong full back indeed from Rosalie, and maybe jumpers jump might do better if he does roaming around a little bit. Pat Hatton are taking another very good one that comes off with the holiday of Tyg McCarthy out of the line again, it's not a line ball. And Tyg is having to take it this time. As I thought it went out off of Tyg's holiday. But Tyg gets it anyway and it goes in. And Richard Stakelum shot his half blocked down by Ed Cleary. Coming over to Bobby Ryan and Sean O'Brien. Bobby Ryan getting away, or it's no other way, it's no other way getting this shot in. It's dangerous. Trap or it's gone in over the hole of Timmy Stapleton. And something you can see the crowd underneath us here banging the roof and shaking the camera all over the place. But no other way, out searching for him. Bobby Ryan getting away, or it's no other way, it's no other way getting this shot in. It's dangerous. Trap or it's gone in over the hole of Timmy Stapleton. And something you can see the crowd underneath us here banging the roof and shaking the camera all over the place. But no other the world out searching for it. And no other the world sending a high loving ball in. Much like the one that came nicely by the start. And Gerald Paul seemed to have it covered. But Timmy Stapleton just got it totally to at the right moment, flicking it on in. So now we have a new game here in Kilmallock. No other world again coming on to it. Trying to bribe it in, but no getting it. It's gone very close. It has gone all over the line. That's a line ball to Middleton. Two goals and three points to one goal and five points. Just one point between the teams. 23 minutes gone, seven minutes to go on the half. John Fenton take the line ball. John, what if he was once I'm sure that John can take the line ball very good. Bit of Kenny sending it and possibly coming back in searching. There's more Kenny on the end line. There's no going back with him as Timmy Stapleton. Timmy half blocks down his shot. It comes out from the middle here. Grand Wall to Ward again. No other seems to move out to half power now trying to get through. No one hits a very nice looking ball and gets a point. And the sides are level. 24 minutes gone. A goal and a point within a minute for Borsley. Have no brought them never with Middleton. 2 3 to Middleton. 1 6 to Borsley. And it's North of coming out to the half power line. Really upsetting this Middleton back line. Sean O'Brien. Now it's John Fenton, we're getting it away. It's Pat Ryan and John Fenton seem to go step into the side of the head. He's down injured. They're off to Northern Ward again. Northern Ward shot is knocked down by Silvio Manny. He comes back to Philip Kenny. The referee says that Philip Kenny was fouled. And yes, you see, John Fenton is still down on the ground. And that time, as Pat Ryan was pulling, the hole they seemed to come through and catch him in the side of the head. And the referee now coming back to check to see how John is. Five minutes gone in this game, and the sides are tied up. Yeah, you see the scoreboard: one six to two three. Well, this game has been very exciting indeed. A lot of hard, fast holding out the field. Not a very lot of good chances since the first six minutes of the game when Jeff Paul brought up two great saves and Middleton got two very opportune scores by Kevin Hennessy. Since then, Borsley have plugged away, tagged away, picked up score by score to get them back eventually level. And no chance here for them to go ahead with this ball. It's dropping and it's gone over the bow and Borsley gone into the lead. The first time going into the lead since the fifth minute of the game. And that one, a very nice point taken from Matt Free by the centre back, Jerry Stapleton. Four minutes to go in the half. It's a clear trying to get that one. He leaves it to Cullum on the eight. Cullum tries in the pass across into the middle. Jeff is still can't pick it up. It's breaking out loose for him. Cullum on the eight again getting out with John Fenton. Just can't get one. Tia Stapleton does. Sean O'Brien racing out for the fast side for it. Whittem is going to where Sean gets over when he gets back and gets a second time. Now it's Silvio Manny. Silvio moving back, making room for himself and sends a nice clearance out to this side. Under it there and foul was it so clearly but referee didn't see it and the play goes on. John Fenton, he shot his block down by Pat Ryan and Pat Ryan getting it away. Philip Kenny getting it a bit further. Off to Mick Cohen, Mick Cohen out trying to get away from Dave Paddy. Sending the attacking ball in here for Bosley. Timmy Stapleton and Michael Boylan. There's my caddy, and back hit the other Sean O'Brien from centre back, and shots into the to his half back, Silvio Manny. Better Kenny with it, better trying to get Bosley into attack. Out to Nola for a while, why he fails to pick it up this time, and Sean O'Brien comes out with very strong. Ty McCarthy going back. John Hartnett adding to it, but it's Richard Stakelum, the half back 
no getting it back over Bosley. Oh, it's fast. Pat Hartlett on his own. And Pat Half is just one, but it's a good attacking ball. Breaking down on his ground. John Byrne trying to get it. Timmy, this is a chance here. Oh, great save by Owen Wilkes. Timmy Delaney over there with John Boylan. John Boylan, one hand is still across the square. But TF Tim to the front back, pouring this one and pouring it away out and out over the stand. Oh, that time Kevin Hennessy had a chance to get in, but Owen Welch very bravely dived onto it, coming out on the ground and flicking out enough, and eventually the fullback clearing it out. Ty McCarthy to take the nine ball, and Milton coming back to try and get a score before half time. About three minutes to go to half time. And what excitement here in Kilmanock. Both these teams putting on attack after attack, and such hard defence at the moment, and the defence seem to have settled down a little bit better. As we're waiting for the ball here, Craig is scorning for Jeffers, give me a ball, time is ticking away. says it's down in a hollow with Gerald, please take it out for me, and Heinzman does, and now Ty gets a chance, it's a very nice one right across the square, John Hart, the guy's holding it, going back on, Kevin Hennessy doubles on it, back in, Michael Ryan, the corner back has in his hand, and Michael moving out, gives a good safe clearance out, and again just somewhere near this belting move for this end, but back to Sean O'Brien, and Sean O'Brien tries to get Middleton moving again, going up for his Jerry Stapleton, Jerry clearing it out for Sposley, coming way out to the side of the field, Mick Cohen getting out here, getting away from that party and getting it into the corner. A race on for it now as Bobby Ryan goes on, but he fails to pick it up. And it's Pat Hatton on to him. Oh, and Pat Hatton robs him very nicely. And Pat moving out, trying to get away, but Bobby Ryan still with him. Mick Cohen now has it. Dave Pratty gets it. Oh, what attacking stuff here at the moment. Ty McCarthy robbed by Timmy Ryan. Mick Cohen, Ty McCarthy, shot doesn't go very far. And Mick Cohen shot going in down the wing. Trying to bring back to Ireland team, Timmy Stapleton, very close to the line. And Michael Bryder coming across, giving the shoulder all over the line. It's nine ball to Middleton. And you can hear the atmosphere here, a marvellous atmosphere. About 6,000 people here in Kilmanock for this final. Timmy Ryan getting it on in as far as Bobby. Bobby turning in, making room for himself, and sends another high dangerous ball in. Only the Sylvia man, he bats it out to Sean O'Brien. Time. Lord the war can't control it. Got out to Philip Kenny here. Philip Silvio Manny coming out to him. Sean O'Brien breaking it. And Sean O'Brien clearing it. Not very far. Oh, and John Fenton comes in there. The police says he comes on. Pat Ryan very hard. Pat taps him in the back and says, It's all right, John. The referee says, Another free in to Bosley. And it's almost on half time. And can Bobby Ryan here increase the order? Only the fifth wide of this half. But what excitement we have. One point between the teams, and I make it on half time. Close on half time, Milton the chance for the equaliser there, but John Hart the shot went out to the right and wide. Owen Welch again to take the puck out. And the referee blows the whistle at this half time as the sides go in with Borsley winning, Borsley winning, leading by one point. Score one seven to two goals and three points. But what excitement in this first half. The John Fenton goes out there. John, who got a slap on the left side of his face there, but seems to be okay again and playing on. And I see Dr. Dave Boylan there, Dave, who's off from St. Fenton this afternoon, going out to have a look at him to make sure he's okay. There's Ty McCarthy going out. Ty, who got one very nice point in that first half, has also did John Fenton himself. Middleton with two great goals in the first six and six and a half minutes to get him off to a great start. Did seem to fail a little bit and just and then Boss Lee come back and eventually knows Boss Lee going out, leading by just one point. 
Lola de Wire, I think, going to be very dangerous in this middle of defence indeed. As you see them go out there together, Michael Boyle and Dennis Marchetti and John Paul and also with Miss Lady Horrigan. But I said, the back line in the start was very jittery indeed and seemed to be very nervous. They've settled down a little bit better now, but at the same time they've given away four scores from freeze in this first half. Many of them have no score from a free, they've got two goals and three points all from play. Possibly one goal and seven and four of those points coming from freeze. Well, in the last day here, Bosley were being led by eight points by Patrick's well and they came back to win in the second two minutes to go with no other one put over a point. And here this afternoon, they are leading by one point. Middleton at half time against Six Mile Bridge were level going in and it took them until the last quarter of an hour before they got back into the game. So a very exciting contest I'm sure to throw to in this second half. Score 1-7, Bosley, 2-3 to Middleton. Back with you soon for the second half. And also Sean Clarcy, who talked with me after the semi-final and who's up here, he's a bank manager. Middleton, I see them all out there coming in. And Middleton, remember, one point down coming into the second half. And John Fenton must be okay because he's back on again, ready to start at midfield. Seems to be no changes in midfield by either team. And this time it's John Fenton and Timmy Wright to go into the semi-final. Kevin Welch checking to make sure they're all in their positions. And the ball is in and the second half is on. And it's Bosley coming away, but Sean O'Brien breaking it on. John Fenton doubling on it and getting it away. It's a clear trying to get in for it now. Richard Stakelum coming out, but Pat Hatton getting it back in. And again, the toss around the middle and the fellas belting this roof underneath us, driving me absolutely mad. Back to Pat Ryan. Well, who by Kevin Hennessy? And Kevin Hennessy going back in for now. The ball is not moving very far. Timmy Ryan any quick. Goes to Ty McCarthy. He can't control it. Bobby Ryan coming out. And Bobby Ryan through all the players getting that shot in for Bosley. There's Mark Caddy kicking it out in front of him. And the sun eventually coming out here after it being a very heavy overcast in the first half. Now we have a touch of sunshine. So can these players lift their game? John Fenton getting this one. He'll try to run on it, but it's Timmy Delaney to call it back out, and Kimmy Delaney getting out here now. Ty McCarthy, Ty McCarthy turning and taking a lovely looking shot, but it had a call in the end, and it goes out to the right, and Boyd. So, a very hectic start again to this second half. Owen Welch taking the puck out. Save your man, he getting one hand to it. John Fenton can. Pat Ryan now getting it. And sending it away out towards the right. A race out front here. It'll be Michael Boylan. Michael Boylan with Timmy Stapleton. Dave Crowley going back with the referee says to Michael Boylan. Foul Timmy Stapleton and it's another free in to Borsley. So Middleton going to give away. A few frees here on the back line again to start to give the Tipperary champions a chance to settle down. This is the first time in three years that a cock team have gone into the final of the Monster Cock Championship. Whereas back in the 70s, cock dominated this very championship. But last year, the champions were, of course, Mike Wokaki Boris, also from Tipperary. The year previous that was Rob Sign, who come from County Waterford. Lola de Wire hitting this one, and Lola de Wire getting a very nice point from about 45 meters out and way out on the right hand side of the field. Now to score one goal and eight points. Two, two goals and three points. Two minutes gone in the second half. Francis Blaine couldn't get to that one. Nobody comes back to Jerry Stapleton. Jerry Stapleton very strong in central defence. But, but John Fenton going in that time. Francis Blaine coming in very hard on him. Now it's Colum on the eight for minute, but Colum can't control it either. And Colum is trotting out as he's on the ground. But it's cleared out by Barcelona. Dennis. But Dennis can't control it and it's a line ball. Nola Dewa says it's line ball to us and the linesman agrees. Has to be taken by Aidan Ryan, I think. It's not. It is it's Pat Ryan who took it and it goes 
to Philip Kinney, he shines half blocked over Silvio Manny, going across for it, no one picking it up, it's Mick Cohen, Mick Cohen trying to turn around, but Dave Curry that time, half blocked only shot, Pat Hatton they're coming in, Fred is grabbing it, Freddy well out of the air, sending it back out for Middleton, John Hatton it, we're getting it out now, it's Richard Stakelum, way off the fast side, Bobby Ryan here, boy Bobby Pitt, boy, misses it, but he clicks, hits up the second time, and sends this one, but he sends it to the left, and boys. Up, nobody on him took a shot, but he sends it out to the left and wide. And Jeff Hall again to take the puck out. So, a lot of good, fast attacking holding in this second half again. A very good puck out. Jeff is jump, can't get to it. And it's Pat Ryan, Pat Ryan getting this one into attack. Sean O'Brien batting it down. As far as Ty McCarthy, Ty McCarthy on the solo run off, followed by Aiden Ryan. Aiden gets it around him to go back to it, just take from the half. Jet in this game. Again, it's Pat Ryan on the say Bell, known as Flowery getting that one. John Fenton putting very hard with Ian Ryan. And he getting it this time and sitting it up very close to the line. Again, it's gone out and it's another line ball. And again, we're looking down at the middle selectors there. Four of them all together planning what can they do. The referee asked him would he ever move back a little bit and give Jerry Stevenson a chance to take the line ball. Jerry hitting this one, a good one indeed, a good tackle one. Back inside to Timmy Stapleton, Michael Boyle with him. Dave Carney going back now, this one Caddy and Dave getting mixed up together. The three backs are getting a little bit mixed up, but Michael Boyle and Kiki are enough for this one Caddy to clear the load. Back into Philip Kenny, his shot is well blocked down. Why it's a clearly, but it's still not over. Bobby Rhino trying to make sure he takes a shot, and he puts it over the bar. He doesn't, I thought it went over the bar from here, but it went out to the right and wide. And he hit with so much power, if it was lower, it could have been very, very dangerous. So Bobby Rhino, his last two shots, one out from the very far side, and that was very straight, the two of them wide. John Hatton on the leader with Francis Belen. Ty McCarthy trying to get it off, fails to do so, and Timmy Ryan getting it away. Now Pat, or Philip Kenny running onto it, followed by Pat Hatton. He fails to pick it up, and it's very hard in these conditions, the ground is very soggy out there. Out. And a matter of interest, 
on this Midland team, they have three married men only. It is Mark Caddy, Kevin Hennessy, and John Fenton. And the three doors, of course, have had experience with the Cork senior team. John Boyle in old, with Timmy Delaney winning it. John Hartner coming out, but he can't keep it in play as he gets a nice little push there from Francis Blanc, and him right into the crowd. And again, it's thrown in there. I see Paddy Crotty down there, and Cannon Tuig as well from Middleton. Paddy, of course, the chairman of the Middleton Club. Simple field man here, Pat Ryan, to take this one. Pat getting his low one on the ground. Francis Blanc can't get it. John Hartner now coming out with a one handed. Eventually, he gets his clearance in. Tyke McCarthy and Tyke shot his half knocked down. But Tyke, oh, he gets a nice one that time. John Hartley shot his half knocked down. But he's back in under again. In Ryan. Now it's John Fenton. John tries to pick it up and he fails to do so and it's got away by Pat Ryan. But Sylvia Manny reading it well and Sylvia's in the back into attack. Colm O'Neill trying to get out to it. Richard Stakel coming out to him. But now it's John Boylan who's moving out for this. John Boylan on the solo run. And in the semi final, well, he's pulling John Nick up very well with a few days. Oh, a nice shot and a lovely save by Owen Wells. And he doubles on and gets it away out to the far side of the field. But John Boylan that time got that one in, but Owen Wells to go keep us here to well. John has it a second time, but this one it's a weaker one. And it's Johnny Stamps in the centre back getting it and clearing it away out here. And the danger is gone again. John O'Brien, the opposite centre back, Middleton centre back, getting it out, but out of the line, that's a line ball. And I see Dave Boyle down there, you see him, and Dave I'm sure wishing he was on, because anyone who's been playing in games and have to be on the sideline in an occasion like this, they really go through terrible torture, wondering if they were on, could they do something. Timmy Delaney shot coming over here very close, but John Fenton getting it, Colm O'Neill now trying to batter into the middle, but it goes astray, and it's just take him getting it out. Tap on by Noel De Wilde and danger here for Middleton, Philip Kenny just couldn't control it, and there's Mark Caddy, a nice pass to Pat Hartner, and Pat Hartner gives the clearance again, but Jerry Stapleton and Ben Down to Richard Stakelon, John Fenton half blocking that down, and Francis Blaine getting a front of. And now again, it's Rossley coming into attack here with Bobby Ryan, Bobby Ryan sending this one away off the far side to Noel De Wilde, Noel had his hand out in the wing, he takes a shot, it's a nice looking shot again, but it's not good enough, it's gone to the left and wide. Borsley are missing a few scoreable chances now in this second half. We have 10 minutes of the half gone and the score still is one goal and eight points to two goals and three points. So we're only one score in this second half so far. Craig McCarthy coming out there one very nice but it's not going to be only by Jay Stamp to nose Timmy Ryan and coming back and getting it is Pat Ryan and Pat getting on. Well, he's gone missing there for Bobby Ryan. No more of the wild again. More of the wild out here as far as Aiden Ryan. Aiden Ryan breaking away here from Sandy Man. He takes a shot, but he hooks it as he hits it. And again, he sends it out to the left and wide. And that's the rate wide of this game. Four in the first half and four so far in the second half. Middleton have had three wides in the second half and two in the first. So five wides to Middleton so far in this game. Jeff Powell poking this one way out again. John Fenton underneath it, but it's Pat Ryan who gets it. Aiden Ryan picking it up now. Pat's brought on, and Aiden getting a one handed shot in to Roller De Wire. And Roller De Wire roaming everywhere now at the moment, followed by John Fenton. He puts a dead spot back in the middle, but it might have won a bit far. Philip Kenny under it, and pass it into Bobby Ryan. Bobby Ryan tells you, takes a shot. Oh, yes, and it goes off the bar. So now, one goal and nine points to two goals and three points and Middleton have no score so far in this second half. Jeff Powell gets the puck out. So three points between the teams at this stage of the game and we have 12 minutes gone in the second half. And now it's Bosley back in attack again. Timmy Stapleton can't get it. Dave Crotty has it in his hand. Dave Crotty steps for it. He covers and gives a good attacking ball away down the middle. Columny breaks it up to Kevin Hennessy. Jeff is just tries to pick it up, but there's so many players here that the ball isn't coming up clearly. Oh, well robbed there. That time by Kevin Hennessy, he really robbed that right well. I said, oh man, he did to Aiden Ryan. A nice pass to Kevin. Kevin turning and taking a shot. And you can see it straight between the posts. So Middleton waited until the 13th minute of the second half to get their opening score. So answering the last one there very quickly indeed. And now it's two goals and four points to one goal and nine points. Or 12 points to 10 if you wish. For two points between the teams again. 14 minutes gone. 
to net time, putting his foot on the ball, wondering why that's hard putting by this ball caddy and this that's putting back out himself. But if a player decides to stand the ball, well, what does he expect? A line ball to Borsali, half line to take us. Two points between the teams and tremendous stuff here. 14 minutes gone in the second half. And we're waiting for another ball here. We might get it going in a minute. Second time now that we're waiting for to get a ball in. The game dies down. Players lose their momentum and takes them a while to build up again. Eventually John Fenton gets the ball but there's also another one comes back in. So we have to get rid of one and eventually get the game going. A low one. Dave Sean is going to save makes it down. Ed Wright has it. Comes out here fast for Kenny but he picks it off the ground. Just couldn't resist the temptation because if he got out in his hand he was away. That's a free out to Middleton. And this is Middleton's first free in the second half. About 15 minutes gone. Jerry Stapleton getting it and clearing it back out again. A race on here with Desmond Catty and Philip Kenny. Dennis trying to be clever, ship with the ball, and he loses it. And Philip Kenny now breaking through here. Desmond Catty going behind him, putting on him from behind. And referee says it's a free end. Get to Middleton. Or two girls lead. But that time, Desmond Catty seemed to have plenty of time to get the ball, but stopped, tried to protect it instead. And slipped. Philip Kenny coming on to us. And it's a chance here now. Noel Dwyer to increase their lead to three points. And he made no mistake putting it over the bar. And now we have it three points between the teams again. One goal and ten points to two goals and four points. Noel Dwyer putting that one over the bar. It's a clear over the pass over to Stakeham. Breaks back with fast time McCarthy. Mick Cohen coming out very far looking for it. Uh, push in the back by Dave Pratty and it's not a free in. But the boss for for full forward line seemed to corner fast particularly, seemed to be drawing out the Middleton corner backs to try and get around them and break in. John Fenton the captain here, can he get his team moving, can he get his game going again? And here's the other captain, Noel Dewey. No other chance here to increase their lead to four points in that one very valuable spare point. No one hits this one, it looks a good one and it is indeed, it's over the bar. And now Middleton really have it all to do. One goal and 11 to two goals and four. And Middleton with only one point so far in this second half. Borsali with four, three of them from Fleas. And 16 minutes gone, only 14 minutes to go. Tyke McCarthy. It's a clearly having it. It's a try to break through. Referee says he was held in foul and it's a free into Middleton. A chance here for John Fenton to pull back that point again. And a tremendous noise here in the stadium for John Fenton. Can he get this one? He hits it. It's a low one. It's dropping in. Oh, Michael Ryan nicked it off his shoulders, but on with saw it very well indeed, but he only gets it back out as well as John Hartnett. John Hartnett turns and tips it on into the inside. Michael Ryan again gets it, and Michael Ryan clearing it away out the far side of the field. Comes out fast to this one, Kenny, who's out very, very far from the back line at the moment, and Dennis getting this one in. But by up and grabbed it out of the air was Jerry Stapleton, on over to Aiden Ryan. Aiden Ryan had to go back very, very far with it, followed and hooked by Silvio Manny. Now it comes to Ty McCarthy, way out in the wing. Ty coming through, takes a shot, and it looks good, and it is indeed. And you'll see all the Middleton flags behind the goals going up there as Ty McCarthy coming through, putting that one over the bar. Again, he's second score of the game, and Middleton's second one in this half. 18 minutes gone. 
I'll see you what it is in a second. Coming on, it's Brendan Kinney, and going off is another Kinney, Philip Kinney. Owen Welch, take the puck out. Oh, well grabbed there by Sylvia Manny, took it away from Ed Ryan, but Timmy Delaney has it on the back for Boris, and Timmy sending it away out. Ball breaking was Pat Hatton, who was on Nola Dwarf at the moment, trying to stop him. But Sean O'Brien gone back into the corner, and Sean clearing this one very well. Jeff is still getting on a little bit. Back to right, can't get me. Colin O'Neill here. Can he break through with it? But going back now is Jerry Stapleton. Colin is still with him. And four bonus players on Colin O'Neill there, and eventually they get it out. Timmy Ryan tries to run the best so. It's a clearly has it. That's a not moving way out. Takes a look and sends this one. The end of the end is walking around. T.S. Templeton getting it over to the side. Ball running close. John Fenton taps it on and makes a little room for himself. Getting away from Pat Ryan. Oh, he takes a nice shot and a nice point. Oh, he made that one so well for himself. Very intentionally, he just tapped it on a little bit to give himself room. Picked it up and put it over the bow. And really, what excitement here. Two goals and six points to one goal and eleven points. Or if you wish, fourteen points to twelve. Tyke McCarthy again. Oh, what a oh, lovely skill there by Tyke McCarthy. And Middleton coming back in here, searching now. Back and getting it again. Jerry Stapleton playing ex extremely well at centre back. And here's Sean O'Brien, the other number six, also playing very well. And playing well not since he moved into the corner. Kevin Hennessy, Kevin sends this one in, it's going to right jump as Joe can't get to it and it goes wide. But excitement here, tremendous excitement here in Kilmanock. 111 to 26 of 14 points to 12. So two points between the teams. And I make it about nine minutes to go in the game. McCarthy dominating centre field at the moment. A nice hand pass on into Ed Zakiri. Ed's a running away from it, just taking him. Ed has it all lovely control. He hits a nice ball in, but Owen Welch reads it all the way. It goes into his hand and clears it out. This McCarthy bats it down. John Fenton doubles on it. And Middleton seems to have to up at last in this game. Michael Ryan clearing it out here. Out oh, fast, John Hatton. A chance here for Johnny. Pass on out as fast. Tim Mizzy takes a shot and a great save. Shot along the ground and one match got dumped it very well indeed and saves it and it's a 65 in for Middleton. But the referee says no, the referee says it was a free and it's a, it was fouled and it's a free out. Free taken by Jerry Stapleton. Ian Ryan who's gone into the corner but Sean O'Brien coming out, Sean O'Brien very hard putting there by Ian but Sean puts the head down and bats his way out Ed Zakiri is coming over, oh Ty McCarthy on that so quickly and passes on into minutes to Kevin Hennessy Kevin Soling but maybe he should take his point he had passes on in, Jeffers still can't control it he's on the ground, he picks it off the ground and it's a free out but maybe Kevin should have that time taking his point but he had passed it on in, and I suppose if Gerald Fitzgerald had got it and controlled it in his hand and got it into the net, it would have all set to the great move. Jerry Stapleton sending it away off the fast side. Bobby Ryan with Tiger, Bobby getting it on in, and now it's Dan Dunn again for Middleton. That's coming away as Tim Stapleton. Timmy Stapleton trying to get through, he sends it across. Jerry Paul has in his hand, but it has gone out and it has gone wide. Oh, tremendous stuff. Attack after attack. Milton putting on about three attacks there. And then breaking up with Boris. And Boris coming up here. But the ground was out wide. And I thought Milton was in trouble there. But Michael Boylan doing very well. Keeping T.S. Stapleton, Timmy Stapleton out. John Hatton had come for it. Going very close to the line. It's gone out. And it's a line ball. Sean Classy down there. I shall see Sean giving John Fenton. I'm sure telling him to stay calm. About seven minutes to go on this game. John Fenton sends this one high, two points between the teams. Colin he can't get his head to it. Jeff is jumping across, he can't pick it up, but he has it now, and he sends his shot, but it's blocked on again. But Jeff is still battling away for it. Taft, they have to come.
Spectres. Seamus Fowl, another one. Paddy Fitzgerald alongside him. Made it down really on tender hooks at the moment. As I'm sure the Boris Minters are as well. One point between the teams and a less than five minutes to go. Jeff Hoss, trying to knock down and coming here. Ty McCarthy, Ty McCarthy, who started the play so well in midfield. Got Minton into attack. Jeff Fitzgerald on for the game here. Can he turn again to shot in? He does. He sends a high ball going across the square. But Old Welch sees it and clearing it out. And away over the far side. There's my caddy going up. Dennis Payne battles to get him off the halfback. Timmy Ryan getting it on in. And it's Brendan Kenny, but Dave Crowley won't let him get away with it. And Dave Crowley is trying to get it. No Silvio man, he fails to pick it up. Going back. And this time he picks up very nice. And left handed getting away off to Dennis Mull. Dennis Mull caddy clearing it for Dr. Middleton. Oh, what excitement we have. What tension here in Kilmallock. But it goes back only as far as Jerry Stapleton. And Jerry Stapleton sending a dangerous one in. Timmy Stapleton went up his brother, got up for it. But he couldn't control it. Now it's Mick Horn over on this side. But Sean O'Brien doing well in the corner. Picking it up and clearing it. Very close line, but John Fenton just couldn't get to it. And it goes out over the line. I see Paddy Fitzgerald here. Come on, hold it. Chemist out again. What excitement down on the sideline as well as on the field. Lowry right here to take this for boss. A long one along the ground. Roll the wire has it. Roll between the over. Coming after his time, McCarthy. And the referee, Kevin Wells, says Ty came on to him illegally and knocked him off the ball. And it's a free in and a chance here for Lord himself, the captain and scorer and chief so far in the second half, to get on the other point and the equaliser. Noel hits it and he hits it between the posts. Two minutes to go and he equalises once again. 3-6 to 112. And Noel scored points in the second half and the four of them from freeze. So in the second half, Wallace has only one score from play. And Middleton, all of their scores came from play. Maybe there's a mall here on this somewhere. But still two minutes to go. And can any one of these teams put it out of the bag? I'm sure both sets of hats are fluffing at this stage. Because after such a hard close game, would have been a for 18 to lose it. But Francis Belan getting it out now for Boris. Boris fast Kevin Hennessy. Kevin was a bit slow picking it up, but he has it on eventually. He sends a low one in. Pat Ryan, Pat Ryan, very well sent the field for Boris. And this is his first game this year. As he, or his first game, I should say, was in the Monster Championship this year because he was studying. But it goes to Silvio Manny and Silvio clearing it away down the field. Colin O'Neill can't control this. It breaks away again to Jerry Stapleton. Jerry running out, I think Jerry carried it far, but referee says no, and it comes to Des Caddy. Now it's Aidan Ryan, but Aidan miss hits it, and it comes to John Hartnett. Oh, here the buzz of the crowd, here the excitement. John Hartnett passes it into John Fenton. A chance for John here. He sends a high, but it's short, it's dropping in around the square. Jeff Jeff tries to get to it. Colin O'Neill has it, but four players around him, he drops it. Michael Ryan gets it out, back to Colum. Can Colum pick it up? He can't get it in. It's just past Kevin in the Kevin takes the shot, but it's half locked down, and it goes all the wide. Myself, I can't keep the control. That time, Kevin Hennessy had a chance, but he couldn't get the shot in. He was half locked down, and it went out and wide. I make it very close, coming up maybe 30 seconds to go to full time. Nearly Horrigan, I'm sure, down there, palpitations and half the same as myself. It's dropped out on the middle of the field. Jared Fenton goes up for it, but Kevin Welch, the referee, blows the whistle and says, they'll have to come back another day. Michael Cohn shaking hands with Silvio Manny. And you can see how tired both sets of players are, because it's very heavy ground conditions out there, and a very 